Liberal democracies have many virtues. They are tolerant, relatively equal, and very good at producing prosperity. But many people say they cannot deal with crises like wars or natural disasters. For that, they say, you need communal effort, a single plan, and a strong central leadership. When the virus began to hit, ministers boasted that the UK would fare better than most other countries because of our national healthcare system, which could plan a total response guided by experts. They were wrong. While the National Health Service had modelled for a pandemic four years ago, they'd done little to prepare for it. NHS purchasers didn't have enough PPE for their staff. Public Health England dismally failed to create enough tests. Three quarters of a million people volunteered to help. But weeks later, many still complained that no work had been assigned to them. Following public outrage, Public Health England at last returned the phone calls of idle and frustrated private labs, enabling thousands more tests to be produced. Engineering companies eventually got through the bureaucracy to produce innovative new ventilators. And after yet more delays, distillers were allowed to turn their skills to producing hand sanitizer. In short, Individuals and businesses came up with new ways to solve the crisis, while the central planners failed and actually stifled that response. Command and control does not help you through a crisis. What helps you through a crisis is freedom and diversity.